Yo, what is up guys and welcome to the Real Racing Project and in today's video we're doing a something a bit different. We're jumping into league racing around 40 miles in a league that I'm competing in. If you're new to the channel, please go down and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I really appreciate it and I'm not making this content for you guys, so yeah, if you would do that, I would really appreciate it. Now, we're in qualifying at the moment. Uh, you can see it's a short qualifying we have here. After that we have a sprint race, where after that we have a 50% race. And so uh, right now I'm just on a, a quick lap um, around Guatemala. Very difficult track in my opinion. A track where you can move the car in many places uh, because of the elevation changes. But nevertheless, it's a really fun track, really fast. Pretty hard to overtake us, but you know what? We don't have to deal with that because we are Damn professionals. So you can see here, just keeping it nice and tight around the track. And uh, and yeah, trying not to make mistakes. In this league, I'm competing in the McLaren. And it's important to say that it's not equal performance uh, cars in this league here. So the performance um, changes from car to car. So, but the McLaren is a pretty fast car. And I'm uh, at the moment one of the, the quick ones in, the, in this league which I'm quite happy about. So I can see coming down here to, into the last turn around Portimao, um, green sectors, and we still have nine minutes left to set a better lap than this one. And it's, um, it's a 1.18.6. Uh, it's, it's decent, you know, but I know I can go quicker, so we will definitely try to improve the lap. So yeah, here I'm just jumping into the pits and watching um, the times. What, what, where are people quick? Where can I be a quicker? And, and yeah, just, you know, just need to check out the, on the data, you know? Um, not that I'm jumping into much detail with it. So you can say a bit behind here. Uh, and now on to a, um, I was gonna set another lap here on the south, but uh, one of the guys in the lobby said, um, he asked one of the others uh, how much fuel they were driving with and then I realized that I had not uh, taken out some of the fuel in the car which meant I I was a bit heavier than some of the other guys so yeah I just jumped in again you know remove some of the fuel had to have a lighter car and then um, yeah here onto another lap coming down into the last corner before we begin our lap onto the main straight here where we have a DRS sound and you know what, just uh, you can already see I'm gaining time up in the, in the top right because I, I made the car lighter coming in here very fast. And the guy in front here actually kind of uh, put me off, so I went a bit deep here. Um, but yeah, I just uh, I kept on with the lap because I didn't have much time. But there's uh, less than a minute now, which uh, meant I had to complete this lap and try to improve. So yeah, we just had to continue, but we lost a bit of time there. Uh, going over the curb here, which uh, over the south of the curb actually, which, which wasn't uh, the ideal way to to take this corner, but but yeah, I'll be into this corner here, which which is very difficult to get on the throttle in because you very easily lose the car. Thirty seconds left in the session. As you can hear, thirty seconds left, so there's definitely not time to try and improve this lap. So this one has to be a lap if we want to get pole position. Um, Coming up here, of their slow corner, left corner here, before you go on to a very long right-hander where you also have to be a bit careful on the throttle. I usually short shift here and then get uh, good traction. Then coming around the last corner here, onto the main straight, and you can see we're definitely improving here, set a the fastest sector two. And we're just one tenth away from pole position, which I definitely believe we could have had pulled off the so yeah, end. A bit annoying, but we take it. So now we're heading into a sprint race on the formation lap here. Uh, try to warm up the tires. I really have a difficult uh, time warming up the medium tires. I decided to try and start on the mediums because I thought, you know what, they're probably going to be faster in the end. But uh, looking back at the race, I might have been able to race on the softs, but, um, but yeah. We are on the mediums, like the guy in front of us. And uh, ju again, just trying to wall the tires, but I can see they're a bit cold, which is not ideal. So yeah, just getting ready for the race. Here we have the start, uh, which is crucial. 
um, especially because you have a very fast first turn here. So we actually get a good start here using the energy, but you can see the Ferrari here also using the energy and we're just gonna tug in behind him. There's gonna be a bit of mess down into turn one, some, some contact between people and you can see my tires are very cold, hard to gain traction. That we are losing a bit of time to the guy in front and we're actually gonna be overtaken by the Williams which is on soft so I thought you know what I'm not gonna try and fight this guy too much because he's on another strategy than me so maybe Will can catch him in the end so just tucked in behind him and and tried to to follow along and then we get some uh, a warning for track limits which is quite annoying but then um, but yeah we need to try and minimize these uh, warnings here because we don't want to get a time penalty. So yeah, just behind the Williams here, you can see we have another Ferrari right behind us. Um, and I thought to myself, okay, the guy behind me should definitely not try and catch me as I just lose a bit of tracks in there. And yeah, my strategy from here was to just have a, a nice and clean race, try and be as fast as possible, of course, and not make any mistakes and get the uh, time penalties but you can see here the Ferrari is gonna overtake us now oh sorry it's the Alfa Romero and then we also had the Alfa Torre here trying to overtake us and then uh, we're gonna make the switch back on him and, and overtake him and then we are gonna try and catch up with the uh, Alfa Romero uh, once again which is also on the softs I believe So yeah, the guys on the soft did a little bit quicker in the beginning than the, the people on the mediums. Um, but they give me a nice tour and I can just try and follow along as I make a, a small mistake here going on on the, uh, the gravel. Battery charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more. In terms of the energy, as you just could hear, I have a high energy sense. I'm trying to not use too much of the energy in the beginning so I have something to fight back with um, in the end of the races because when you start losing when people start losing traction because of the tire wear I, I like to have that as an extra element of being very fast you know so I'm just trying to save as much energy as possible without falling completely out of the race so you can see now gain some time on the car in front into the first corner here very fast very easy to get track limits on so you have to be very careful gaining a good amount of time on the car in front trying to get a good exit here um, to go into attack mode and uh, we get the DRS here just marking myself but I'm not going to go for a move because we are driving with a uh, very high I think actually simulation damage and I really don't want to get any damage because that would just make us much slower. It's nice to have a, a car functioning all the way through the race because then you have something to fight with. So I'm trying to, you know, I could be aggressive, but I'm trying not to be aggressive because I try to, you know, race the, the long race here um, and not get any penalties or damage. So yeah. That uh, is uh, my tactic in the sleep. Also, because I've noticed many of these guys uh, get uh, penalties the the longer we go into the race. So, you know, it's, you know, if you don't get penalties, it's also easy to gain positions in that way. As we go for a move on the Alfa Romero here, we have the DRS into the right fast corner here which is a bit difficult when you're actually on the inside and you can see here I went a bit off track I didn't get track levels luckily but um, yeah we uh, we make the move stick and I see a bit wobbly around here when you're fighting with cars and now we actually have the Alfa Tari attacking us and he goes on the move on the outside and I have the inside here but I didn't want to push him off tracks and I get a very bad exit and he's actually gonna be able to overtake me and he's on the same strategy as me which isn't ideal because the people on the soft and all their tires would wear off whereas I know that this guy I'm in a direct battle with as I make a, I get a, some oversteer out of the corner before 
So yeah, I really need to uh, keep up with this guy here. He's very quick and um, I'm hoping I can keep up and, and overtake him at another point. As the guy in the lead is just, actually the two guys in the lead are just, you know, they're just gone at the moment. And you see they're already on the main straight now and we are only going to get on the main straight now. So yeah, you know, I'm still in the, within the DRS range and I'm gonna plug in behind him and get the DRS and you so many things because I know I have to get this move done. So I'm going on the inside here and again, the first corner near very difficult when you're on the inside, but I'm gonna stick the car within the track limits and we're gonna get the overtake done. And I actually really, I'm very proud of that overtake. I think it was really nice executed. Again, up into this corner, which is very difficult. It's very easy to look tra uh, lose traction. And you see here, very wobbly on the steering, but I managed to keep the car under control. So uh, we are uh, slowly getting to the end of the of the sprint race here and I started to see the, the two guys in the lead um, on the soft and the one on the the mediums I think yeah that is uh, Nils on, on the mediums the same tactic as me but uh, he was starting to have some slower lap times than me and I thought to myself okay we can uh, we can probably gain gain the lead here as he actually also gets a time penalty so now we are definitely in for at least p2 because we are within the three seconds of uh, the ferrari in front and the guy in the lead on the softs i don't know how but he made these softs really really stick you know so i wasn't able to to catch them in the end as you can see my tires are also starting to wear off and um and the car started to get a little bit sliding, but here on the last lap we are able to get P2 because of the Ferraris and time penalty. So P2 in sprint race, that that was nice. Now on to the main race. You can see it's a 50% um, race. So we're driving. I think it's for three laps. I can't see that as I'm, really, as I'm uh, speaking over this because my screen is so small, so sorry for that, but I believe it was uh, 33. We're gonna start in P2 once again, now behind the, the Williams, and we have decided to start on the mediums again. And once again, looking back on the race, I should probably have started on the south because the chance of uh, a safety car in this league is uh, very big as we are gonna fight uh, for a position here in turn one and he's actually gonna overtake me on the outside of the track. I was also on the outside of the track and I think that's why it wasn't an illegal overtake from his side. So yeah, you can see my tires was just a bit cold and I'm gonna be overtaking now uh, down into P4, um, which is uh, not uh, the ideal start. You can see I just have no traction. At the end of lap one, we are down into P4 um, again, not ideal, and we're gonna be overtaken by now the Mercedes of uh, Ole Ohm, uh, which is also a very quick player into the fast turn one here, very close to track limits. And I'm gonna try and follow along with him because I know he's quick, I know if I can follow along with him. As he's on the soft, I'm also gonna be very quick. So yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, talk in behind the pin move so it's taking me who's on our faster straight team because the kind of keeps me awake in the race you know it, it it's gonna keep me on my toes so yeah into the DRS so we have the DRS on on the Mercedes in front and I'm gonna try and overtake him because that's you know what racing is you know trying to get in front of people um not quite able to overtake him as I think he used a lot of energy on the main straight almost crushing my wing up against his his rear Trying to get a nice exit out of here and getting the DRS on again. Marking myself, I know I'm not gonna go for a big launch here because I don't want to get any damage. But yeah, not quite able to get the overtake done. But again, I'm, I'm doing the long race here. I'm not, at this state, I'm not really worried that I'm not gonna overtake him. But you know, it's just nice if they are keeping you back from gaining a lot of time, it's nice to get the overtake done, but I wasn't able to here. As you can see, we have four cars in front, so we're still in for the win here. We can still see the need, uh, and yeah. 
As I mentioned, I'm not really on the ideal strategy because I think softs would have been better because the, the chances of a safety car here would be quite high. So also in the beginning where we are a lot of cars on track, so but yeah, now getting the DRS on uh, the Mercedes in front, fucking in behind. I think, I don't know if he said that the car also is really quick at the straight or he just uses a lot of energy, but I wasn't able to catch up with him on straight, so a bit annoying. You can see here on the, on the next lap, on, on lap 9, I wasn't able to catch up either. And uh, yeah, a bit annoying, a bit frustrating, because suddenly the, the, the cars in front are just gonna, you know, they're just gonna take off. I can still see him as he actually makes a mistake here and just gonna, you know, that's an easy overtake. That's uh, very easy. You know, I don't have to nice work, mate. That was be scared place. that the car might get damaged if I go for an overtake. So, yeah, that was uh, that was nice. So now we're um, now we're trying to catch catch Jasper in the in the Williams. He's on the uh, he's on the, the mediums as me as well. So. I should be able to, to follow him. And yeah, I, I, I think that if you were trying to get better at racing, I would actually recommend if you could find someone in a league that compete uh, on the same level as you, as well as they take it seriously. Because if you join and if one open up is painful, if they rage or get mad at you because and you were faster than them, they would just press into you, you you've seen, you've seen the memes, you tried it yourself, I know that. So, joining this, I actually, I can, I can feel myself improve a lot as we go for an overtake here in the Williams, he's gonna, he's gonna stay on the outside, overtaking me on the outside, I don't know why that was an, an illegal move, but he didn't have to give the position back, so, a bit frustrating, now I have to try and chase him down again and go for the overtake. As you can see here, at the end of the map on the main straight, we're just right behind him in a DRS train because he had the DRS on the on the um, Aston Martin in front. As I go and try and make a switch back here, but I lose the car. Then I try to go for move here, but he just yeah, he squeezes me, and uh, I don't want to get any damage, you know. So that was a very close call for me to get some front wing damage, and luckily we didn't get any. So hard racing, but fun. It keeps you on the toes. It keeps you. Um, and you know, it, it's, it's just helped me a lot with, with training my, my skills as I get a uh, warning there, which was a bit annoying because I felt that I was pushed a bit off track there, but let me know in the comments if that was me who should have okay, tucked in behind, as there is a safety car, and we are only on lap 13, so if I had started on the soft here, I could probably have gone on to the mediums and then con finish the race here but I thought to myself let's go on the softs as I get a as I get a time uh, penalty which was annoying for going too fast into the pits so yeah frustrating so I my my thought here was okay I can probably go on to you know go to the end of the race on softs it's gonna be tough but I, I think I can do it so that was the tactic from here but there's always the chances of another safety car. So uh, here on the restart, talking behind the um, Aston Martin here, who's weaving a lot. Bit dangerous, but we're not gonna be able to catch him. So yeah, here I could really feel like, okay, we have some tires here with a lot of grip. I felt very, very quick. I don't think many of the guys in front were on the soft at this point. So I'm, um, what, definitely one of the fastest car cars on track right now so um so yeah i need to get over taking the people okay, in front down, as we get a down, virtual safety car and there was pace. a bit of contact down the line so yeah now on to the restart we had the uh, we had the ferrari very close to us and i thought to myself here okay he cannot overtake me so i used a bit of energy and got another time penalty which was very frustrating very annoying but you can see the people around me has also started to get some time penalties but 
I think for the next couple of races, that's gonna be one of my improving points not to get penalties as we go for move on the Esther Martin here. And then I get a bit squeezed by the um, the Williams, and that gives me a very bad line out of the out of the turn. And the Esther Martin is able to stay in front of me, and then I try and go in for a move on the outside here, where I'm actually a bit off track, I would say. Let me know down in the comments if you think that was off track, but I, I think I was out of the track the English, so but I didn't get any warning, I didn't get any you know I need to overtake so yeah I think I think the game EA should try maybe and improve the penalty system in the game because some of them are, are quite weird. But you can see we can see the top whoa the top three now as I almost lose the car before the main straight as one of the guys actually just goes off track and that caught me a bit off guard and I almost went off track because it just took so much of my attention. So yeah, I get overtaken, one of the guys in front just moves the car and is out of the race. I go for a switch back here, which I almost was able to stick as I get a bit squeezed here again, I go over the curve and get a time penalty or not uh, a warning not a time penalty but a warning which again a bit frustrating because we don't want to get too many time penalties we already already have two which is eight seconds so quite frustrating but it's just just head down concentrate and try and you know do your best and here I almost go back into or go back into the Aston Martin and I'm really trying not to get caught by the Ferrari behind me. I'm just trying to, I really want to overtake the guys in front. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, and you're still watching the video, please go down, give this video a like and subscribe. That would really be appreciated by me. So thank you. Again, just trying to catch the guys in front. It's really frustrating that I'm behind here. So um, here in the DRS, you can see, the Aston Martin going for a move on the Ferrari and here making a very nice switch back which I don't think the Ferrari liked because he didn't just launch at me and actually hits me here uh, I thought to myself you mother yeah but uh, we we stayed in front which was nice and now I lost a bit of time to Aston Martin so I had to catch up with him as well here we are within the RS range and we're gonna try and catch him, you know, we need to get these moves done, we need to get the, the overtake done because the guy in front, he is, is moving. So we get on the inside here, we keep the car on the track, it's very easy to get beyond the track limits there, so yeah. And now it's just about, you know, driving really fast. We're on the softs and you can see the wear has started to, uh, to show its significance in the right bottom as we get overtaken by the Aston Martin again I go for a very nice switch back here on the inside absolutely king move like I need to make a short of that because that was amazing if you enjoyed that overtake hit the like and yeah with the in front I don't know how, how he was able to keep up with me so much maybe it's the overlap between the softs and the medium I, I, I don't know maybe he set the car up nicely to have straight line speed as I make a mistake here and I kind of let him pass because I thought you know let's not get in get tangled up I thought I might uh, be able to overtake him on straight so um, as I make a breaking mistake here but yeah I thought to myself I can pretty easily overtake him again but yeah a mistake from me there which uh, cost me second place for now and you can see that the tire wear has started to show it's yeah as I get another that's just very annoying I actually thought to myself here yeah, okay I might pit because the, the wear is causing me to slide a lot and I'm I would see as I slided off track there and got a time penalty so I thought to myself you know what maybe I'm gonna get a lot of time penalty so I switch to the, the soft once again hoping for a safety car because if we got a safety car coming in within the the next eight laps that would just be a very nice position for us and the chances here are that a safety car might appear it's not uh, unlikely so now we're definitely the fastest car on track there's uh, there's no doubt about that we are on low fuel 
on the soft compound and I was just trying to make as many positions as possible and hope for a safety car of course. Just trying to keep the car nicely within the, chair, the track limits and just yeah go incredibly fast incredibly coming fast. And you can see in the top left that many people actually have time penalties, so... And I lost a bit of my time penalty when I paid it. I think I lost five seconds or so. Um, which was fine for me because, again, I was hoping for hoping, hoping for a safety car here, so... Um, so, yeah. Okay, there's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. And, and, and here, one of the guys actually crashed out. And when you see the car, you can see it here on the right, on the main street, he's just holding there in the wall. And I thought to myself, you know what, that's gotta be a safety car. Uh, but it wasn't. And I was a bit uh, frustrated about that because if that had been a safety car, we could probably have ended in a very, very nice position. But yeah, now I'm just trying here on the last lap to catch the guy in front who has quite significant uh, time penalty so we can definitely gain his position and gain a P6 in this race um, so yeah I'm just trying to you know I'm just sending it at the moment you can see we also have, uh, hold the fastest lap at the moment because we are just the fastest uh, car on track and I really found the flow on this track um, except of course for the uh, time penalties but you know I, I feel quick on this track and you can see that by the fact that we had the fastest lap. So yeah, I, I tried to, to catch the guy in front here. Uh, we were definitely quicker than him, but again, he has the time penalty. But I thought, you know, it would be nice to still uh, get the overtake done. So uh, I tried I tried to do that as I tried to get a very nice fast exit here as Jesper in the Williams win. Congratulations to him. And using the last bit of energy I have here before the main straight just to try and catch it but I think he had a bit of energy as well to defend with so we're not gonna get the overtake done but we are gonna gain his position because of his time limit so yeah that was P6 and P3 overall through the sprint and the, and the main race so uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please leave a like and subscribe see you in the next video take care and peace